When parents come into our practice for the first time, I tell them we're here to look at the body through a different lens. Today, I wanna to talk to you about what that lens is. Now, if you haven't seen me here on social, my name is Dr. Matt. I'm one of the docs at PwC Chiropractic. I take care of a lot of kids, kids ranging from two weeks old all the way to 17, 18, not kids anymore, right? Teenagers. But one of the things we wanna look for is we wanna look through the body through a different lens, the lens of the nervous system. The nervous system is the master controller. It's the brain and the body that talk together. If the brain and the body aren't talking, it can cause the body to be inefficient, it can cause a lot of miscommunication, and then things don't work as easy. Systems, organs, glands can't communicate, muscles and movements don't work quite as well, and it can cause havoc in the brain. So what I wanna show you today is the lens we use, the tests we use, the scans that we call them, that help us dig into neurology to be able to help kids. So oftentimes when kids come in, um, they have a symptom, right? As a mom, if you're watching this right now, there's something that there's a struggle in your life. You know, we have this, I have this example on here. You know, for this kiddo and this example that I'm gonna show you with scans, it's stomach pains, it's digestion, it's eating habits, it's not feeling comfortable. And it's causing this kiddo um, to just feel like, okay, I'm a little more anxious in social environments. I don't feel good at the lunch table. Um, I'm not able to eat, I'm not able to digest, and that's causing my brain to really not be able to communicate and to signal as best as it can. So when we hear symptoms like that, what we wanna say is, okay, what system in the body is this going with, or what system isn't talking to the brain as easily as we can? And that's why we love to use these insight scans, and that's what these are over on the right is this is a thermal scan. Thermal means we're just taking temperature up the spine. We're looking thousands of times at each segment to see what the balance is of that temperature and then what the balance is from the bottom to the top of the body. Now that's important for this system because it, we call it the autonomic system, but really think of that as the automatic system. These are the things that should be going on on autopilot, subconsciously with kids. It's you know the heart beating, the lungs breathing, the digestive happening the body breathing and, and working through all these different systems on automatic. But if the nervous system has stress in one of those areas, it's not gonna be able to communicate as easy with the brain, signaling's gonna go awry, and then the nervous system's gonna start to work harder. So in this case, for this kiddo, on this thermal reading, we have a lot of basically these clumps that go side to side. Now what that really is, is those are temperature changes that are shifting all over the place. When we see that happen, that shows that there's stress and there's faulty signaling from the body to the brain and the brain to the body. Because our body and our brain are all the time working together to adapt to its environment. And so if we've got stress down here in the digestive system, the elimination, if we've got stress here in the stomach and processing, if we've got stress up here, upper cervically that goes with sleep that goes with calm and emotions all those areas that's going to cause the brain to be more on edge and the brain and body not to be talking with each other the other thing that we see in scans like this is the effort it takes kids to do everyday things this is what i love about looking at scans is when kiddos have to use too much effort to do something like digestion to do something like taking a deep breath to do something like just sit in class and be able to focus. That causes them to struggle with behavior. It struggles them to struggle with sleep. It causes them to all these things that should be more on autopilot, the autonomic functions of our body, for that to be more difficult. So when we remove that, and when we help that nervous system be more calm, like it is here on the, on the right, and we have better brain-to-body signaling, we're using less effort to do the work of those systems, organs, glands, awesome things happen. Stomach pains become more manageable. Digestion happens easier. We can go to that sporting event. We can get sleep at night. We can do all those things easier simply because the body and the brain are talking to each other easier. Now, I remember at the beginning, I said looking at it through a different lens, and that's really truly what it is. We're not as concerned with just the symptoms. We wanna know those, but we also wanna dig deeper to the cause. We wanna see why why is that brain and body not talking to each other? Because if we can find out that out, then we can formulate the care plan and formulate the care to be able to help that body communicate and work more efficiently 
and really get to work on what's gonna make it go easier for them because that's what their body wants. It wants to work efficiently and easy. And if it's not, then that's where we have struggle. So if your child is struggling with something like this or maybe another process that, that I didn't mention, we would love to dig in, show you the test, the lens we look through to determine if we can help them. So if you have questions, comment below. We'd love to talk more, but there's numbers of PX docs around this country that can help you, that can dig into these scans because they are gonna be the ones that get to the bottom of it, find the cause, and be able to help your and your kiddo thrive with communication, with systems, and then with the symptoms that they are struggling with. Hope this video finds you well. Love you guys.